the longer I was out there homeless without somewhere to live, the harder it was to, to keep going to work. So I was really, um, there's definitely homelessness in Sonoma County. I would, we would pull over sometimes on the side of the road and put a car cover over our car with all of us inside. And uh, how different my life is today. In 1988, two concerned citizens in the Sonoma County city of Petaluma, Mary Isaac and Laura Reichick, founded Committee on the Shelterless, COTS. Isaac and Reichick saw children, adults, and families sleeping in parks and in their cars and felt an obligation to help those most in need. Cots first consisted of a few mats on the floor of a church, in the basement of a bookstore, and in a private home. Today, Cots serves the homeless population throughout Sonoma County with a variety of targeted programs and services. The services at the Mary Isaac Center and the Kids First Family Center in Petaluma, Vida Nueva in Rona Park, and facilities throughout the county address the needs of the homeless and allow people to remain housed. The Cots Petaluma Kitchen provides daily hot meals to members of the community and weekly emergency food boxes to hundreds of households. A dormitory-style emergency shelter at the Mary Isaac Center houses single adults, men and women, who need a safe place to begin their transition out of homelessness. A medical clinic is available to address immediate health needs and provide primary care referrals. Family transitional housing and the Kids First Family Shelter create a safe environment for families to regain stability. Beyond housing, the staff at COTS offers programs and services that give clients tools and resources to break their cycle of homelessness and transform their lives. The Work Ready course offers job skills training, resume preparation, and interviewing skills with the goal of helping participants locate and maintain gainful employment. My main goal was to be able to find a job and rent a place somewhere, you know, get back on my feet, take care of myself. I completed the work ready class and then I applied for, originally I applied for the apprenticeship in the back because I still was not very trusting of people. And they came to me and said, well, we want you to be a front desk intern. You, you know, you're a people person whether you know it or not. And I said, no. Oh, okay, if you think so, let's do it. <laughs> and so that, that's what happened. And then it just, you know, from there, I just went, oh, wow. <laughs> you know, when I did do a, a, a real resume and went into Kmart and everything, by then, then I had the self-confidence. It, it felt comfortable then. Right. And so then I could, you know, portray myself the way I needed to. Instead of like a year and a half ago, and I went into Harbor Freights to get a job, and I was classic te textbooks case of what not to do, say or where, <laughs> right down to, why do you want to work for us? And it's like, I need a job. <laughs> Individuals from the emergency shelter can relocate to one of several transitional houses throughout the community, conveniently located near jobs and grocery stores. Transitional housing allows clients to practice and hone the skills needed to successfully live in a permanent residence of their own. Today is Victoria's move-in day. I'm a grateful homeless person <laughs> because I, I got to experience something and get a lot of education and learn to stand on my own two feet with, you know, I'm sure every place isn't as blessed as that place is, but I was blessed to be there. You know, the people that work there, volunteer there, they sincerely care about people. You can, you know, you know they, they focus on that and that it's almost like a calling for them. And I, I'm just totally amazed every time I go there and see the care that they give me. You know, whether it's the day people or the residents, amazing. You know, and if you are ready to move on, if you are ready to start that process, they're there for you. You yep. want to put in the work. You know, somebody said, don't you ever sit down or don't you ever do this? I said, I want to go forward. I want them to know that being here is a gift and I want to give back. You know, and, you know, God willing, someday if I have the wherewithal to contribute, I would always volunteer there or financially or both. You know, you know don't sleep in. I tell people, don't sleep in. Go to the meet. Go to the class. You're going to feel better. You're going to learn, even if you learn one little thing. Yeah. 
You know, it's going to help you for the rest of your life. Absolutely. It's true. I mean, I'm 60 years old, uh, so it's kind of late for me to be learning, but I appreciate that somebody didn't throw me away. Rapid rehousing is part of a federal effort to reduce homelessness across the nation. This program provides financial assistance to quickly rehouse and stabilize those who are experiencing homelessness. I heard of the program Rapid Rehousing, um, and I knew that I had nowhere to go once I got out of treatment and I was going to end up in this shelter. Um, so I contacted Rapid Rehousing through COTS, and that's the first program that um, and service that I use. I didn't really know what was gonna happen with my life. I knew that I had gotten to a place where, okay, I was clean and I was, I knew what to do, I was ready, but I wasn't, I wasn't working. When I first made that, um, had that phone interview, I was still in treatment and they said yes to me anyway to come on in. And so that was really a motivator for me to, it was like, okay, maybe I can do this. Maybe my life is gonna change. And I, maybe I'm not gonna think my came on. get out of here and end up in the shelter and then never be able to um, get a house again. How am I gonna come up with a deposit? I have three kids. How am I going to even get going? You know, I'm, I'm all by myself. Um, so it was really empowering knowing that there was a possibility for that for me to restart my life. Well, I had Tommy with me, but I had two more guys that I, I wanted to bring home. And there was no way that was gonna happen until I had a home to come to. This was the house that was meant for us. Cots can make a profound difference in the lives of the homeless in Sonoma County. This is only possible through the generosity of the many donors and volunteers. Since I've been here, I've ran the whole gamut. I've got received every service there is available to receive here. As soon as I walked in the door, I felt whew, like I could breathe and I can go somewhere. I can get help here. My next step is um, my daughter and I, we're getting um, housing together. I'm job searching in a nonprofit organized in a field and looking for a position out there for me. I wouldn't have Social Security if it wasn't for COTS. I'm 62 years old now. There's people that are 50-something that are disabled, that are out here on the streets, that deserve Social Security. They can't get it because they're too much into the street thing. If you can't settle yourself down someplace and go through what it takes to get your Social Security, your housing, your this, you're not gonna make it. I made it only because of cots. I can't express with any words the gratitude that I have for cots in the program, the rapid rehousing program that helped me. I'm not really sure where my life would be right now. I don't know if I could ever brought my kids home had they not been there for me. I'm gonna be a nurse. I'm not even gonna put it in any other words than that. I'm gonna be a nurse and um, I'm gonna take care of my kids and I'm gonna be comfortable in my life. And that's my passion. <laughs>